And I think, I think what this does is it will open up the opportunity for how to position yourself with your clients and to start thinking through like, if I was in my client's shoes, what would I expect from my MSP that's providing these services? What does cyber hygiene look like to, to my, to, to me, right? Like if I'm your client and you're my MSP, I should be able to look at a set of criteria and go, wait a second, maybe I should ask a few more questions than I have. It is focused solely on the MSP or solution provider space. And the reason being is we got to walk before we run, crawl before you walk kind of thing. Um, we've had lots of requests mm -hmm. like, hey, I want to do this client facing. I see the opportunities and it's like, yes, no question. And I would, I would even go so far as to say that today, as you go through the trust mark, there are definitely going to be some areas where your clients are part of this process. You can't just say, I'm just going to do this for myself, asset inventory on things that you're responsible for that might live in the client environment. Um, so there will be some of that. From a client's perspective, you know, if, if for the smaller MSPs or for maybe MSPs that are reluctant to, to moving forward in this direction, it's... It, as a client, it would beg the question, why the reluctancy to change, you know, in a in an industry where, you know, change is happening every single day across the board, I would think our MSPs would be early adopters of it, and maybe the leaders in it, 